Hey guys, so today you're probably wondering why the hell my eyebrows are all fucked up and why, and why I don't have any other makeup on, but today I'm going to be doing the how I did my makeup in high school video. Now, here's a catch, I'm still in high school, but the thing is, technically I'm a junior now and <laughs> I already did the how I did my makeup in middle school challenge, which I kind of created myself because, yeah, but um... Um, I was just like, I was going through some pictures pictures the other day and I realized, oh shit, like my, my makeup was horrible freshman year, so why not do a video recreating that look? Now, the funny thing is, I actually learned how to do this from watching a YouTube video, but I think, now, when I was, well, this is kind of towards, well, okay, backstory, so 8th grade for me was technically middle school, but then when I went to ninth grade, Pretty much from that period, I was obsessed with watching like Biohazardous Beauty. I loved her. It just I, I still love her, but yeah, I would just watch her constantly. But I didn't really know how to do that. I just thought it was a magical sorcery that she did. But yeah, so there really wasn't many. I want to say goth kind of makeup artists, and you know, like drag makeup and all that fun crap. But there wasn't that many at that time. So. I think that's actually one drag Megan started her channel, but um, pretty much what I'm trying to say is there were the only like goth makeup tutorials were Biohazardous Beauty and a couple that were like I don't know, even know if those girls are still around because I can't even remember their usernames and I actually tried to look through the tutorial that I did this look from and yeah, but pretty much the only other kind of tutorials besides a couple other people were pretty much just girls like on their phone like okay now I'm gonna do this and this and that's what I learned from now at the time I didn't have like well of course you're kinda young you don't have great products to use but but seriously look in the viewfinder these stupid eyebrows are killing me but um like I didn't have the best products pretty much what I had was elf stuff that I got at the drugstore and um like stuff that came in those little like makeup kits I remember like the one where my mom got me a ton of makeup kits because I don't know but um, yeah so really that's all I can think of for this little backstory but yeah so around the time I want to say towards the end of um, towards the end of ninth grade when I was in high school I started getting into actually doing makeup more interesting like because um, I pretty much until then I was like in this little shell like I loved all this like goth crap but I wouldn't ever do it and now I'm just crazy and I don't give a fuck what anybody says no so, actually the fun yeah. th funny thing is the foundation I use then is still what I use today but now I use it mixed with um, the Kat Von D foundation but it's the Maybelline fit me in the shade 110 now of course no brushes but I did put it on the back of my hand that's more about that but the thing is, I think like me and my one friend, there's this like this one person, not gonna name names, but um, not the friend, but this person we knew, and they claim to never wear makeup, but you can, you know, you can tell when someone's wearing foundation it's applied badly. <laughs> but somehow that gave us the impression of foundation wasn't meant to go on your whole face. Um, so I only put it on like certain areas. Dang it, this is not close the tube. And this is actually this is actually a new one I got. Um technically new, but this is my backup for when I run out of that one to mix with Cap on D stuff. Oh my god, come out. I don't remember being this thick to be honest. But this is the palest shade in the Fit Me line you can get. And yeah, I would pretty much you know I don't get this is the only thing I'm gonna get out, but I would just take it and I would just put it on kind of like under my eyes and just like kind of like that. I wouldn't, I didn't like actually take it on until like 10th grade, but I think in 10th grade that's when I learned how to do makeup like good, I want to say. And that's when I started my channel, but you know, I'll be honest. The beginning days were a little cringy, I'll give it that. Um, 
Because I, I remember the one video I did. I think last time it was like my first get ready with me kind of thing. And there we go. But um, people are commenting like, "This is how you do your makeup every day." And I'm just like, "Yeah, don't you like it?" And I'm just like, like I was watching that the other day and I was horrified. I was like, "Oh my god!" But maybe I'll do that one too. But so I'd pretty much just like put this on my problem areas, which is usually like my chin and my nose. There we go. Beautiful. I don't know why, that's like still to this day. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get any sort of acne, it's gonna be on my nose and my chin. So just put it under my eyes a little. Yeah. That's beautiful. And I think at the time I was actually kinda tanned. So like I'd be putting this like white makeup over like tan skin. You could totally tell that it was not in the right places. So then for the eyes, now I would take a just a black pencil. What brand is this? I don't even know what brand this is. I think this is just from like a one of those cheap makeup kit kind of things. And I would take this and I would draw this like wing kind of shape thing and I would fill it in. Just like that. I don't even know why I'm trying to perfect this shape because I didn't perfect it back then. You know, like, I vaguely remember the one time I did it with tape. Like on the wing kind of thing. Wing kind of thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't, they were never even for one. And, yeah. You know, I would actually, let's see. Cause I, like I said, I kind of like broke out of my shell, like towards the end of, towards, the, yeah, towards the end of eighth grade. And, and I would actually like wake up at, Cause it took me so freaking long to do this. Like now I can bang it out in five seconds, but or five minutes. But you know, back then I was just like, no, <laughs> it's it, it's not happening in five minutes. It took me actually two hours to get this done every morning. So yeah. Um. Then I would take my foundation. If I can get it out of this damn tube. Okay, I'm just gonna cheat a little and get my brush and get some out in front of my hand. Cheating, I don't care. Okay, so I would take the foundation and I would put that on the part of my eye where there was no nothing. Also, I didn't set the black or blend it at all. foundation left on my hand. I would just blend that in, you know, rest of my face. Because, you know, you can't waste it. That's bad. This stuff's a whole five dollars. <laughs> Technically, well, not Walmart, it's five dollars, but if you get it other places, it's actually eight dollars. Oh my god. Oh, eight dollars. <laughs> be under my eye and, like, my chin and my nose and everywhere else would be fine. But, okay. Now, you know, I don't think I have what I used to use. I used to have this big elf palette. Um, I think it was like one of their holiday palettes. I don't think I have that anymore. But um, I used like, pretty much I used like a, usually a purple eyeshadow. Because I read somewhere, if you have green eyes, which technically I have hazel eyes, but I was like dead set, like, nope, I have green eyes. And apparently purple makes green eyes look better. So I used like a purple eyeshadow and I put in there. Once I, I'm gonna go find one. So, so I actually found one of the things I used to use. Um, now <laughs> this is really janky, but <laughs> this is from CoverGirl. It's um the let's see eye enhancers 
Does it have like a color name or anything? I don't think so. I think it said it, but it worn off. It got worn off, but I think I got this from, I think like one of my family members, like who lives somewhere else, they sent this to me along with like mascara and nail polish and stuff that a 13 year old girl would use. So um, it did come with a little applicator, which I, I used to use, but I, I lost it and then I just started using my fingers. So of course a how old's I? 14, 15 year old's favorite brush is their hands. So, um, now actually, hey, I, I think I need to give myself some credit here. I could blend a little. So, I would take the lighter shade, the finger, I would pat that. God, this has no pigment. I'd go right here. What the fuck? Like,. Okay, this can't be because it's old. Because this is like janky as fuck. So I kind of just like put this on the edges. I don't remember it showing up this bad. But to be honest, I didn't use this as much as I did the other stuff. And then I would take the darker shade and put that all over the rest. Oh, there we go. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> now, um, like since I have hooded lids almost, you can kind of, it's like, what is this? <laughs> um, I didn't know that, like, you should, like now when I do stuff like this, because I still do actually like shapes like this, um, but, I didn't know you should maybe do it with your eyes like open because then I could like make the shape a little bigger. Um, yeah, so then I would take a liquid liner and I usually just use a cheap one, but yeah, this is the cheapest one I find. This is the Wet n Wild H2O proof liquid liner. This is a bitch to get off. I've been actually I've been actually using this in my brows the last couple of days because I I can't find my Physicians Formula pen to save the life of me. But yeah, so I just do a little line on the top. Little line. But do it on the top. I can actually use this as a good example because this happened a lot actually. So if that happened, a little bit more foundation. If I can get any. So I take a little more foundation, pat it on top. And then I just go back in with the eyeshadow and put on top more. Also, you can see it's already creasing. Yeah, I noticed that then too. So I was like, oh, oh well, I'm just gonna put some more eyeshadow on it. it. Even with my liner on, yeah, I'm just pat some eyeshadow on top of it. Okay, then to the bottom of my eye. Now, where is that pencil? Okay, so take this. And pretty much, well, I would put in my waterline, so I was smart about that at least. Oh, also, no primers. There's no primers ever. What the fuck's a primer? So I had that in my waterline. Then I just take this and just draw a thick line under. No blending. There we go. Great. Okay, let's see. What else did I do? I, I know I did more than this. Um, oh, mascara. Now, this is actually the mascara I used to use. You can see how janky the top got. Yeah. This is the Showgirl Volume... Volume... Volumizing Style Lash from Icing. 
Actually, like, I really like this brush, to be honest. I, I don't know, I really like spiky brushes. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know, I kind of keep this for keepsake references, I want to say, because it's, I don't know. The only reason I bought it was because it said Showgirl, and I'm like, well, it's still, I was just, like, obsessed with, like, you know, like, glitzy and everything, you know, Showgirls and all that fun stuff. But, I think, this is actually one of the other mascaras. It's the Lash Out Butterfly from, was this CoverGirl? Maybe L'Oreal? I don't know. But, er, L'Oreal, yeah. Um, this is a newer one, so, I don't know. I have no, but this one, well, thing that I have opened this, but, I don't know. I, I bought this because it said Butterfly, and, yeah. I was, pretty much, I'd buy anything if it had some cool on the packaging, so. I hate this wand, to be honest, and it, it smells like paint, so, okay, I'm just gonna. I think that works. Okay, um, let's see. Now, I didn't wear lipstick all that often, but when I had, like, I was going somewhere and I wanted to feel fancy, I wore only dark red lipstick. That was the only thing I'd wear. So, let's see. I'm gonna go find one, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found one of the ones I used to use. This is from e.l.f. It's matte lip color, kind of crayon thingy. In the shade Wine. Um, yeah. So, I just use this, I guess. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so, it looks really all I can think of that I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to believe. This is only like, I think it's three years ago? Two years ago? Yeah. Um, at the time I had bright red hair. Um, I, let's see. I got actually, I got my hair. I had like really long hair and then I got a cut, kind of like I did a while ago. But, um, pretty much then the stylist died because I wanted it like. I think I wanted it like black. You know, I always just want I always want black hair, but my stylist was just like, no, you know, I think it'd be really cute if you had red hair. And I'm like, okay. Because like then like all the other stylists in the whole salon like crowd are like, oh you look so cute with red hair. Oh my god, you look so cute with red hair. And I'm just like, hey, I'll, I'll get the red hair, I'll get the red hair. But it was like a maroon kind of color, and then I went to touch it up myself one day, because I always touch it up myself, but yeah. Um Pretty much what happened was I got this like really bright red um, dye and I put that over it and it made it really weird looking so I bleached it all. Don't do that. Don't do it. But um, yeah and then I re-dyed it red over it. Yeah. I will put some pictures in if I can find any here. But yeah, um, interesting times. Um, I think like I think in the one picture it says I'm like a Ursula Ariel love child. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let's see. I had a boyfriend at the time who said I was like. He said my hair was the definition of Soviet Russia. <laughs> Quite interesting. He also said um, because this is kind of the time where I transitioned from doing my just winged eyeliner to actually wearing full makeup every day. And he was like, what's on your face? And I was like, I look pretty. So, no wonder that relationship didn't last. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, you know what's funny? People would actually comment, like, compliment me on my makeup. I'm starting to think those are sarcastic. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, it's just like really weird once you look back on it. You're like, I thought I was this shit back then. And now I'm like, this is shit. That was freshman year for uh, me. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, then sophomore year happened, and myself happened, and now I'm here, and technically I'm a junior, and yeah, so, 
I guess I'm gonna shut up because I have a feeling this video is like gonna be like 20 minutes long. So yeah. Um, that's it for me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do that because I'd love to have you for all the glorious shit I post and crap I put on my face. Like this glorious disaster. Um, I want to do another middle school, middle school one because I remember towards the end of middle school I did do my makeup quite differently. So, uh, yeah. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! This lipstick tastes like straight up crayon. Someone fucking help me.